was in a room of DBs that was just, I mean, unreal. Like, you know, D. Miller started in front of me and Drake Kirkpatrick and both of those first round defensive backs and all and both of them four inches taller than me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, for me, like it was a e it was I, I wouldn't say it was easy for me to step away, but it was simple. Like I you know, like what Tim said, it's like I just was like, I need to figure out what I want to do with the rest of my life. Mm-hmm. And football, you know, for me, even though we did win those two national championships there, like, bro, I wasn't I wasn't contributing on a level that it, you know, where I was like, man, I can make something out of my football career. You know what right. I'm saying? So I'm like, I need to go figure out what I want to do. And when I when I had a you know brief conversation with coach, I was like, coach, I I need to go figure out what I want to do with my life. I was like, I got some dreams and some things I want to consider, and I I feel like taking this next year off and figuring that out um, is what I need to do. And he was like, all right, man. Well, you know, I appreciate you. Whatever you've done, you here, you were a good player, and I pre you know all that. So and I went on and did what I did, and then 18 months later, I was starring in a movie. Mm-hmm. And so it was like if I had not of, I was gonna do what I wanted to do either way, whether he, you know, Coach Saban or my dad or whoever had a been in opposition, I would have just been out there doing what I got to do because my business is a one man show, bro. It's like you know, mm-hmm. it's up to me to be proactive and and seek out these opportunities, and so. Um, but I, I initially didn't know I wanted to be an actor. I just knew I didn't want to play football no more. 